And now let's get to our big story. Oregon is an expensive place to live. We all know that. Housing prices are through the roof and the prices of goods and services have been rising even before the pandemic began. So how can anyone afford to, to serve in the state legislature, which pays about $33,000 a year? Well, for the most part, they can't. Three powerful state representatives, Karn Power from Milwaukee, Rachel Prusak from West Lynn, and Anna Williams of Hood River have each denounced they are not going to run for re-election this fall because of that low salary. Between bills, student loans, and uh, two kids in daycare, I've never been able to stop working for my second job during session. So I dropped to part-time uh, during session for my second job, which means that I work all the time. Um, it places an enormous caregiving burden on my wife and my in-laws um, because I will turn around and continue working for my uh, primary job through the weekend uh, to catch up. Uh, we can't make ends meet on the legislative salary alone. Um, that wouldn't be financially feasible for us. Uh, and so it became increasingly clear that um, this was not a this public service wasn't sustainable for my family. Now, to try and get around the low pay issue and allow younger, more diverse people to be able to afford to serve, Oregon lawmakers actually considered giving themselves a pay bump to sixty three thousand five hundred dollars a year. But too many lawmakers thought it looked too self-serving and the plan failed. People got elected in the last election that really made our legislature look like Oregon looks as a whole from age diversity, gender diversity, LGBTQ status and racial diversity. And the challenge is keeping those folks right, especially the younger ones who have families really are struggling to figure out how to make it work. And so while we we got all these folks in now, now the challenge is keeping them. The lawmakers told us it's a blast to run for election the first time and to get elected and then serve. By the second election, they started to feel the financial strain of what amounts to a full-time job as a lawmaker. And now it's just too much. That's too bad for all of us.